welcome. Here we are, just a little bit after sunset, in the pool. I'm doing some evening exercising here in the pool. It's, it's wonderful. Got a couple palm trees and these solar powered lights. All the lights up on top of that wall and on the wall, they're all solar powered. The lights at the bottom of the power at the palm trees, solar power. These torches, all solar power. They just make for such a relaxing evening when you're floating around, nice temperature out. Don't get me wrong, it's uh, still 31, 88 degrees Fahrenheit, I think, 31 degrees Celsius, somewhere around there. Uh, pool temperature is actually 90 degrees, and uh, that's looking inside. And very seldom do I actually turn on the lights in the pool and stay in the pool for, I don't know, evening time. The sky is pretty. It's got some orange tint to it where looking this way is about 12 kilometers away is the beach. So let me switch this to a wider mode. Turn it around. All right. Welcome to my oasis. Today, what did I do for food? For food today, I had some of that delicious fatty, fat-laden pork on a stick. And I had that with a piece of smoked sausage uh, that was for lunch after I'm done with this little stent in the pool I intend to go in take my shower and Noel sear me up one of them delicious ribeyes full of fat you know you gotta get your fat little update Noi is still struggling with what I believe to be, and this is this is the uh, internet doctor speaking here. I believe she has some sort of a reactive hypoglycemia. It seems as though when she eats, it can cause her insulin level to make her blood sugar go lower she can test and then eat and then it can be 40 points lower where typically a person would be 40 points higher you know or more after eating i know when i eat my blood sugar goes up it doesn't go down and that's, I think, the way it's supposed to work. We are taking notes. We just ordered two more 50, uh, 50 strip boxes of blood sugar glucose measuring strips. And we're going to keep notes and try to uh, determine a pattern. And then basically, I think we're going to go a doctor explain what we got and see if they've got a solution uh i'm feeling great i'm very fortunate in life to feel this good and be this fat and not have any side effects uh yeah you know, am i lucky yeah i'm lucky Am I living good? Yes, I'm living good. This might not be the 
best video I've ever taken this dark at night. But I thought I'd do it anyway and see how it turned out. If you liked it, let me know in the comments. If you didn't like it, well, let me know in the comments there too. Hell, whoa, I know. I'm just a guy trying to make a difference here. Uh, one of my friends I talked to yesterday, unbeknownst to me, he got on a carnivore diet and he's lost 25 pounds. His wife saw it and his wife got on a carnivore diet and she's trying to lose a little weight. This is a really, really good, good guy. And, uh, I guess that's the reason I'm taking the time to make these videos anyway, to try to enforce free speech and to let people know just how utterly terrible corporations have made it in the United States for people to be healthy and wealthy and wise. Uh, I just got one thing to say. If the U.S. did anything right, they would make it absolutely illegal for pharmaceutical companies to advertise their latest drug. The drug that's at the end of the ad says, possible side effects include every disease known to man, plus diarrhea, constipation, leaky gut disease, headaches, back aches, muscle aches, joint aches, arthritis, gout, big toe, little toe, fungus toe. Come on, man. As Joe Biden would say, come on, man. You don't need to advertise pharmaceuticals. We're the only country, the U.S. is the only country in the world that allows its drug companies to pay for advertising on television and in print to try to get people to take more drugs. They don't want to cure disease, they want to treat it. They're not putting out information that helps people be healthier. They put out information on how they can cure all the things that are wrong with you. Did I say cure? Hell no, they don't cure it. They make the symptoms a little better. That's it. Psoriasis, clear skin in six weeks. Yeah. Yeah, psoriasis. So your skin isn't perfect like a cover girl model on Vogue magazine. Who cares? You're a person. You're a human being. You got a heart. You got a brain. You got a family, people you love. Do you have to care about every little thing? Oh, you can't have plaque psoriasis. Oh, my God. When I was a kid, we didn't know what plaque psoriasis was. It, I'm sure people had it. Maybe they didn't. I don't know. We never kept track of it. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. You know, YouTube has got this habit of not wanting anybody's content content to be offensive to any of their advertisers. Well, I think those ads from the pharmaceutical companies are offensive to the population as a whole. End of rant. Thanks for watching. I hope you can even see my face in this darkness, but this is being shot on my iPhone 14 Pro Max. So take that. That's all, folks.